Ladies and gentlemen, from the heart of Noongar Budja, please welcome the unstoppable horse, Mr. Stephen Michael. He was just one of those freaks of human nature. He just knew where to go to get the ball. So Stephen was one of the greatest footballers I've ever seen. One of our absolute greats, always first hand onto the ball in the air. Stephen the Noongar man who grew up in and around Kojanup, three hours south of Perth. Because I didn't learn a great deal at school, really sports a doorway opening for me. But Stephen's natural on-field abilities provided him with ample opportunity. In 1975, he was welcomed into South Fremantle's multicultural family. Everyone classes as a home. No matter who you are, they were there to help you. We didn't care if you were Chinese, Siamese, Arab, as long as you worked hard on the track and you looked after each other. And the club culture paid off, with South Fremantle's multicultural all-stars dominating the league. Stephen became the WA League's most powerful player. And if you got in his way, just move. Because <laughs> you've come through like a steam train. After winning the prestigious Sandover medal two years running, the VFL came calling. I went over and I get down to the footy over and you walk out in six to eight inches of mud. Said, Jesus Christ, it's like a bloody cow paddock out at home. But Stephen placed greater importance on family and his own club. Going to Melbourne wouldn't have made much difference. I always played sport for love. With his strength, speed and power, Stephen Michael is widely regarded as the greatest player in West Australian football. The greatest moment of my life is running out and giving these people satisfaction to come and watch a football side where they believe in. Stephen Michael! 